Welcome to this presentation on who a customer is and the basic wants of every customer the world over. Now, customers are people who work with us. They are clients, they are buyers, but they are essentially a group of people who receive goods and services and ideas from us who are sellers for an agreed consideration, which is usually monetary. So customers go and watch football, they go to supermarkets, they go to malls, they buy stuff from Amazon, they go to universities, and all these categories of people are referred to as customers. Now, customers can be both internal and external. And based on the definition I just gave you, I really was defining who an external customer is. But trust me, if external customers are going to get any joy or happiness from you, it is contingent upon how you treat your internal customers who are usually referred to as employees of your institution. So internal customers are all those who work for you. And for you as maybe somebody working in the trade department of a bank, those in SME, retailing, or if you work in a hospital, the people in the dispensary are your internal customers because you work in the surgery unit. So all the colleagues around us who make use of our products, our services, our skills, and the, our abilities, they are the internal customers to us. So please, if you are listening to me ahead of Human Capital, for instance, make sure that your internal customer service is very excellent because in creating empowered employees, they then go out and deliver excellent service to your external customers. Now, what do all customers want? Well, most external customers, the first thing they want is that they want consistent service. What customers can stand is yo-yo service. Yo-yo service means good one day, bad one day, good one day, bad one day. So we can't quite tell what we will get when we come and see you. Now, in this increasingly digital age, the yo-yo service has become even more of a problem because what it is is that um, on digital platforms sometimes we totally go to sleep. I sit on the board where I was teasing the company one day because I went into a board meeting and said, look, I sent you a message via Facebook and it took eight days to respond. They said, oh, Prof, we are sorry, we are sorry. I said, no problem, you, you'll be sorry, me, I'm here. So no foul. Assume it was an external customer who wanted to bring you a $3 million deal. Just sleeping on Facebook alone has cost you the money. So, Prof, we are sorry, we are sorry. Please, if you are listening to me, the first basic want of all customers is consistent service. Number two, they want value-laden pricing. Value-laden pricing. What does that mean? It means that for whatever you are delivering to them, make sure that the value they appropriate from that good or service is over and above any price you are charging for that good or So let's say you work in waste management. You, you deliver sanitation services. And you work in the East Legon or Airport Hills area. Every day you are late with the waste collection. And people are complaining and complaining. How on earth do you tell them, well, we will charge you $1,000 a month for waste collection when you can't be on time for any Saturday waste collection exercise? Come on, listen. Anybody who renders a premium service can charge a premium price. So please, make sure your prices are value-laden. Number three, they want high quality and rapid action. You see, in this COVIDian era, everything has become rapid, 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 rapid. So listen, I was listening to a presentation recently by a big Ghanaian entrepreneur who said, look, in this COVID era, being rapid is the antidote to all business problems. So please, make sure you deliver high quality and you're rapid in the way you deal with customers. Number four, appreciation. Customers want to be appreciated. After they give you their money and give you their business, make sure you have a consistent system for saying thank you. Consistent system for saying thank you. The last one is, Customers want customer service, which is useful, not just for them, but also for the stakeholder network they are involved with. So for instance, if you work for an advertising agency and you deal with a customer who works in telecoms, don't be interested only in the revenue you get from putting out billboards for them. Check whether their business is working. Check whether they are meeting targets. Check whether their market share acquisition is happening. 
So you are interested in them, not just because of the service you get for them, but ultimately because of what they are doing to also grow their business and the various stakeholders they are connected with. Thank you very much for listening. And remember, consistent service, value-based pricing, quality and action, total appreciation, and customer service that goes beyond one transaction is what all customers are looking for from you. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk again very soon. Bye.